Hi there, I'm Mariana from Crafting Happiness and today I'm going to show you how to attach crochet pieces in amigurumi with the invisible seam. And what I mean by invisible seam is that you won't be able, no matter what color the yarn is, you won't be able to see the stitches and the pieces uh, attached look like one continuous piece. So they won't have an edge or ridge or uh, stitches visible. They just look crocheted in one piece. For this tutorial, I'm using the pig's head that I've been making for the pig baby blanket. And um, I'll show you how to sew the ear onto the head. I've already done this one. Uh, and now uh, we're going to move to the second one and the first thing you do when you attach pieces in amigurumi is to pin them in place uh, just to make sure you are happy with the location so I already pinned my ear um, like so I was happy with the uh, placement and now we're going to sew around the ear and attach this piece securely. So let's start from this corner and um, I showed you before how to attach pieces um, but before um, I like to uh, leave a ridge around this so the piece will look like it was placed on top not part of. Uh, in this tutorial I'll show you how to seamlessly sew them so it will look like this like it was part of the head so you, it doesn't have uh, um, a ridge around so start by inserting uh, your hook right where the ear touches the head and insert it under and then we are going to insert it in between the stitches of the ear so it's going to be right there the this uh, loop right here and then back into the head and underneath the stitch and it's okay to leave uh, a long uh, loop in between like that because we'll be uh, pulling the tail later on and now we're going back where um, the next stitch is and underneath so we are leaving these uh, stitches untouched we are going in between the first row stitches like so okay and if you're not sure where to insert um, into the head just place it back and see where the ear touches um, the head and then you insert your uh, needle right there under and just continue doing that in every single stitch and when you did a few stitches just pull uh, the tail, the yarn, and you'll see how the stitches disappear. Don't pull it too tight, just enough to be secure. And this is how it looks like. So let's finish this side. make sure you do it in every single stitch and that way your piece will be secured okay. again tighten up the stitches let me show you just like that you see how they disappear that's it 
now we are going to move to the front and attach this grey piece as well. And again, it goes in between uh, the first row uh, stitches, so right there, in between the stitches. And then back into the head, and up again, back into the head. When you reach a pin, pull it out. And uh, it really doesn't matter what yarn you're using because um, this yarn won't be visible. So let me show you. When you pull it, it just literally disappears. And that's why it's called Invisible Stitch. And you won't be able to see it. And that's how you attach the ear. So let's finish it up and I'll show you how it looks like at the end and how uh, to uh, position the ears so they can they will look like pig ears. Okay, so now we are on our last stitch and again uh, you can see uh, the stitches but when you pull the tail they just disappear and now uh, it looks like it's one continuous piece and that's why you call it uh, the invisible seamless stitch um, so once you're done with that Weave in your ends, uh, as usual, back and forth a few times, just to hide it and to make sure that it won't unravel when you um, wash it. So let's do that really quick, and then. What I do is uh, just push the yarn into the head and underneath and cut the excess off. And then there they are. This is how the pig ears look now. And um, what I like to do is curl them up so it will look like a cute little piggy. There it goes. This is how they look like. And this is how you attach pieces in Amigurumi with the invisible seam. Happy crocheting!